Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to WordPress Lesson 27 and in this video we're going to make our own custom loop for the homepage. Alright then, so this is the homepage as it stands and down here we've got this little featured section which is the latest four menu items that have been added to the website. Now, currently these are all hard-coded and what we want is to make them dynamic. Now, in the last tutorial, what we did is go in and we created a new category called menu items and we added four posts to that category. So what we want to do is create a custom loop on the home page to go in and cycle through those four posts and output the data of each one. So the image, the title, the price, which was a custom field, and then the rating we're going to pop underneath, which was also a custom field. So if you've not checked that previous video out, go back and check that out first. You're going to need that for this lesson. And then what we're going to do now is go into the code and make our own custom loop to do this. Alright, so I'm in the frontpage.php template. This is the home page of our website and currently this is where the featured section is all hard coded. So we're going to delete all those li tags because we're going to pump those out dynamically using the loop. So the loop can be found on the index.php page. I talked about this in the or one of the first lessons I did. Uh, so I'll leave the link to that down below if you want to go back and refresh yourself on the loop. But for now, what I'm going to do is just paste it in here like this, where we're going to create our own custom loop, indent that. Okay, so just a quick refresh. What we're going to do is open the loop with a while loop, and we're going to use this WordPress function to check if we have posts. If we do, then we're going to use this function to set up the post itself and give us access to those posts and the data within them, like the featured image, the title, the content, all that kind of stuff, so that we can loop through the posts here and output that data to the screen. Now, I'm going to get rid of this stuff here um, because we're going to use our own custom loop to output the data. Now, I also mentioned in the earlier tutorial about the loop that this have posts. There's a default way that WordPress uses to determine which posts to check. For example, if you're on the page forward slash category forward slash news, it's going to use that URL to determine to go out and check if we have posts in the news category. If we do, then it uses this function to set up the post data. All right. Now, that is the default behavior of WordPress. We can override this behavior to create our own custom loop to tell WordPress exactly which posts to go and check that we have and then retrieve them. All right. And to do that, we need to use a WP query. So to do that, we'll open our PHP tags and create a new variable. Now, all variables start with a dollar sign in PHP and we can call this whatever we want. I'm going to call it my query. And then I'll set that equal to new, which is a keyword in PHP, and then WP underscore query, which is the WordPress function to query which category or which posts we want to retrieve. Now, within the parenthesis, we need to pass through some options. So we'll open our quotation marks because this is going to be a string. And then we're going to say that the category underscore name that we want is going to be equal to menu hyphen items. And this here is the slug of the category we set up in the previous tutorial. And a slug is just the category name, which replaces spaces with hyphens like that. So we've said to it, look, we want you to go out and get the posts in this category. Right now, I need to write an ampersand because I'm going to pass through another option. And the other option I'm going to pass through is posts per page and we're going to set that equal to four because there's four posts or four menu items on that home page showing. And that's it. We just need to close that off and end our PHP tag. That there is our custom query. OK, so we've gone out and grabbed the posts from that category that we want. Now, there's one more thing we have to change in the loop, and that is this section here. Currently, it's using the default behavior of basing it on the URL, which post to go and retrieve or check. We want to give it a different context, the context of our query. So all we need to do is copy this and paste it here and then use a little arrow like that to say, look, base this function on this query. OK, and we need to do exactly the same there. So it's going to override that default behavior. So that's all we need to do there. Now we just need to set up or output the data itself. Now, I've already written the code for this. So what I'm going to do is just grab that and paste it here and I'm going to walk you through it now. So for each post, we're going to output an li tag first of all. 
okay? Because each of those menu items on the front page here is in an li tag. So the second thing I'm gonna do is use this WordPress function, the post thumbnail, and that's gonna grab the featured image that we set up for each one of these posts, and it's gonna output it here in an image tag. Right, so we've got that. Second thing we're doing is setting up an anchor tag, and we're setting the href value to this function right here, the permalink. That is also a WordPress function, and it's gonna get the link of this post um, and output it into this section right here, the href. Then within the anchor tag, uh, anchor tag, the text itself is gonna be the title. This is another WordPress function. It's gonna get the title of the post, all right? Then under that, we've got our span, and within it, we've got this PHP function called get post meta. We're echoing this out. We need to echo it so that it displays on the page itself. So the get post meta function is used when we want to retrieve custom field values. Remember, we set up those two custom fields, one for the price and one for the rating. Okay, so this is the function we need to retrieve that data. So we use the function and then we pass through three parameters within the parenthesis. The first one is the post ID, which we use this for. This is giving it the current post in the loop, all right? Then we pass through as a string the name of the custom field, which is price, first of all. Then the final one is just a Boolean to say that we want this returned as a single string value, so that is set to true. So we do that for the price, and then we do another span down here, and this time we give it a dynamic class. We're starting it off with star hyphen, and then we're echoing get post me uh, meta, the post ID, this time the rating, which could be either one, two, three, four, or five. So it's either going to be star hyphen one, star hyphen two, three, four, or five. And then we're giving it another class, rating. So it's got two classes, this dynamic one and this one, which is always there called rating. So we can apply some global styles here and particular ones here, depending on the star rating. Then we're closing off that span tag, all right? Then we're ending the loop. Whew. All right, so that is the custom loop set up. And we've got all the data from those posts that we've created. So if I save this now and return to the home page and refresh, we should see... Now, yeah, we've got the, th uh, the pictures there, the thumbnails, the text or the title, which is also a link, and then the price is coming through, which is also a custom field. Now, currently, the rating isn't coming through uh, because we've not styled those in the CSS. We need to give them background images of those stars. So we'll do that in the next lesson, not this one. But if I right-click over here and inspect the element, then we should be able to see in the first one, this right here, span class equals star one. So we know that's a one star. Here, it should be star three. So we know that's a three star and so on, okay? So we're dynamically updating the class based on the star rating. Then we can style those classes differently in the CSS, which we'll do in the next tutorial, all right? So just once more, because I know it is a little bit confusing at first, we've got the standard loop to begin with. Then above the loop, that's really important, we're using a variable to store a new WordPress query. And that query has to say which category we want to query, which category we want to grab posts from, and in this case, how many posts per page? Four, because we're gonna show four on this homepage. Then we start the loop, okay? We're giving it some context. We're giving this function and this function some context of my query. So we're saying base this function on this query, not on the default behavior where you're gonna use the uh, the URL. Same for this right here. So we've set up the post data for each of the posts too, based on this context. Then for each of those items that it goes and grabs, we've got an li tag where we're posting the thumbnail, the link and the title, and then the price, and then the rating, okay? So that is what we're doing in this tutorial. I hope this makes it a little bit clearer. Um, what I'll do is leave a link down below to A, the loop tutorial that I created earlier in this um, playlist, so you can go refresh yourself on that, and B, a link to the WordPress codex, which goes into more detail about this function right here, where you can go out and query posts, so you can read over that as well. Obviously, any questions you have, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, um, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the next video where we're going to style up those star ratings. I'll see you guys then.